Knives, forks and spoons aren't exactly modern advances in elegant eating. It's quite a long time now since we stopped scooping up our meals with our fingers. And at this London factory, they still use ancient craftsman's methods for making these helpful food tools. The material is silver, and the processes defy the ages to make a mockery of mass production. Many of the molds or dyes here are 200 years old. Some are cracked, but they are still usable and indispensable in the meticulous production of handmade tableware. The Romans taught us a lot about making knives, and the Norman invaders brought with them skilled metal workers who forged primitive eating aids for food spiking. Sheffield may now be a famous centre for steel knives and forks, but London can hold its own in this small factory from the past, where silver is the mainstay of this pressing business. It is, of course, specialist work, and the men who carry it out have a specialist union. The London Hand Forged Spoon and Fork Makers Society, it's called. And a very select union it is, too, the smallest in Britain. Once flourishing, it now has just seven members left, and they all work here. No youngsters have opted for the five-year apprenticeship, either. So it really looks as though that cliché, a dying trade, has claimed yet another victim. You'd never realize that so much care could go into the making of such a small, everyday item. The trouble is, we take our table instruments for granted. And that's what's putting these craftsmen out of a job. If we were forced to use our fingers again, we might be more appreciative. But who knows, we could enjoy that so much. We'd put all the cutlery makers out of work. <laughs> London, like all sprawling cities, thrives on the unexpected. There are hidden ancient crafts and...